everyone, welcome! I'm Zombie Kitty and welcome to Bendy and the Dark Revival. So this did come out quite a while ago. I think this came out at the beginning of March for consoles. Um, at the time I was in London and then... Okay, I'm sorry. Um, but then other videos got in the way unfortunately and I kind of kept pushing this back and I was like, you know, you know what? I, I want to start this one. Um, I also wanted to get Bioshock out of the way as well and get that finished before trying this because I am going to do the whole game. Don't know how long this is going to take me but yeah. Um, in terms of what I know, I don't know anything about this. I think the only thing I know about it is, is we reacted to Rocket Music's song about it. And I think Jacksepticeye and a few other YouTubers have audio clips in this. But that's all I know. So, let's go. So, uh, difficulty, let's go on normal. Yeah, I don't know if this is a reboot or like a sequel. I'm not really sure. Joey Drew Studios. We're it always free to choose. Okay. To believe what we want to believe. Cool. But when you step back, when you really look at where you've been. What is that back noise? And the things you've done. Your past will come. To devour you. I don't really remember the ending to uh, Bendy the Ink Machine. I remember not liking it, <laughs> but I don't remember the ending. June 18th, 1973. Oh, I think this is the first we're playing as, isn't it? There you go, little guy. And only 800 more frames to go. <laughs> no way I'm getting through tonight without some coffee. Probably some downstairs. Okay. Press uh, this one. For a little adventure. Okay. Locate the elevator. Oh god. Okay, hang on a minute. The sensitivity is way too high. Give me a sec. Okay, it's not perfect, but I I've never really been a fan of analog controls because analog controls aren't great. Can I go over here? Oh god. Yeah, I might not get on very well with the sensitivity. Okay, so I've managed to put the sensitivity... God, that made me jump. I've managed to put the down sensitivity down a little bit. Oh my god. I've also got the volume up really high, so I don't think that's helping much. Do I jump? Wait, where am I supposed to be going? They said locate the elevator, but I don't know where that is. No Nathan Arch. Okay, there's some. Is that blood or is that a bit of drywall? Oh, uh, through here? Okay. Ugh. They locked me in. Good thing I brought my own key today. Is that back in your office? Retrieve your office keys. Is that back in the office? Is this going to be like. Um, if you remember, it was. Who put this here? We've done this before. I haven't played um, Ink Machine on the channel, but this has happened before, where you turn around and something else would be there that wasn't there before. <clears throat> Wait, where is it telling me to go? Oh. Here's the key. I don't think I'm going to get on very well the sensitivity level, if I'm completely honest. <laughs> Can I run? How do I run? Okay, I can't run. That's not going to bode very well, is it? Yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really getting on very well the sensitivity levels. Not the most welcoming hallway I've ever seen. 
Not really. There's... Hello? Oh, is boy. someone there? Yeah, someone is there. <laughs> just, just ignore it. Just ignore it. There's nothing there and it's fine. Just ignore it. It's fine, it's fine. Oh my god, the sensitivity level is awful. Like, it's either too sensitive or like... Audrey. Who are you? Wilson. Wilson. <sighs> you scared me to death. I'm sorry, my dear. Didn't mean to frighten you. Well, you look You're frightening. You're late tonight. A pretty girl like you shouldn't be wandering around all by yourself. Mind if I step in? No. Uh, of course not. Thank <sighs> you. No. Audrey, you look like you could use yeah. a little company. So, it's been really nice this past week. Just beautiful. Gorgeous. I don't like them. What was that? Please tell me we're not trapped in here. Don't you worry, my dear. It's just a little short in this system. Happening a lot this past few days. I don't like this person at no all. Need to fret. Yeah, get me out, get me out, get me out. Let's see what we can find. Come along now. No, I need to go Old away from you. Wilson will protect you. Ugh. Okay, I immediately don't like him. Where am I going? D don't go so close to me. I don't like you. Do I want to talk to you? I don't really want to talk to you, to be honest. Ah, Ooh. there we are. Just a few more switches to throw. Okay. Follow me. It will be perfectly safe. Joey Drew. Yeah, because I don't remember... I don't remember the ending to the first game. But this is definitely a different building. So I, I'm not sure if this is like a sequel or a reboot. Oh, Boris! Cute. Bendy sing-along. Where's he going off to? Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just going to stay far away from you as possible. And not talk to you. Do I have to talk to you? <laughs> Wait, is that the ink machine? Hi, that's the ink machine Looks from the first like game. Someone's been messing with the exhibits. There should oh. be something on each of these pedestals. Oh God. Audrey, sweet Audrey. I don't like what you're saying. Do an old man a favor and go find them. I'll tend to the power. So just so you know, if you never played Bendy in the Ink Machine before, this is, wait, where's it telling me to go? Wait, where's it telling me to go? This is literally... Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, this, sorry, this is literally what you have to do in the first chapter of the first game. Okay, cool. So these... Okay, so that... I can't see what that is. Is it this one? Okay, that one, cool. Yeah, this is literally the task in the first game. Uh, 
Oh. Ah, so that goes on the music. I think what I might do is I might collect everything up first and then just bunk, 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 bunk. You know, place it all, them all at the same time. So at least then I'm not... Aha, there we go. The illusion of living. I, put the, I think these are all the same items from the first game, actually. There you go. No, pick it up. There you go. Why is he looking at me like that? He looks like Walt Disney. I know that's the point. And yeah, again, I don't really remember the first game. I remember like... I remember... I thought that was a person then. <laughs> I remember liking the game and like the aesthetic and everything, but I remember hating the ending. Oh, there's a plushie there. But yeah, I, I don't remember what the ending is, to be honest. Oh, is he broken? Okay, I think that's everything. Oh, okay, I think I'm missing one. So we seem to be... Okay, so this isn't an art studio, like the first game. This is like a museum of Joey Drew Studios. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I don't know if we should have been taking that, but okay. <laughs> I'm not really sure. This one? Aha! There we go. Yeah, I think these are all the same items from the first game as well. Trophy earned. The ritual. Cool. Get away from me. Only one thing left to do. Pull that switch. I don't want to. Because that's going to turn the machine on. It is done. Wilson? Oh, Audrey. Yeah, here we go. The things you've set in motion. To be fair, he looks like a villain. Pink is calling us, my dear. Can't you hear it? What? Stay back. Listen to me, Audrey. Pay attention to these last words. Okay. Because very soon you will forget everything. Let go! Come find me, Audrey. Come find me, and I'll show you your purpose. I'll show you. The truth. This can't be real. And now we die. What are you doing? Oh, no. No. I mean, yeah, he looks like stereotypical bad guy. So I don't really know what you expected. What did that end up being revealed as Sammy Lawrence from the first game? <laughs> Bendy and the Dark Revival. I'm glad this is finally out as well because I know it took years for this to, to be made and released. So I, I'm really glad this is out. And I know on the PC version it came out even longer ago, but I wanted to wait until it came out of PlayStation. Um, because I prefer console games. <laughs> oh. Oh no, that's uh... Well, that's different. Welcome home, it says over there. Someone's making a noise over there. Okay. Escape the studio, I think, was the objective. Okay. 
Okay, I can't go up there. Wilson knows your purpose. The man who killed the ink demon. I was about to say, who did I play in the first game? I don't know if I can jump or... Well, I can jump. Okay, cool. Yeah, what was the guy's name in the, the first game? Was it Henry? Uh, every great story begins in mystery. Although things may be in the dark at the start, this truth, the truth will illuminate your way. Uh, don't be afraid of who you are. Fear only what you may become and banish it away. Your best power. Memos are stored in the pause menu. Okay, cool. Is there going to be bacon soup again? Uh, to Grant Cohen, accounting. Please inform Mr. Drew that despite his insistence that the rumours of Joey Drew Studios going bankrupt are untrue, I want to remind him that if his studio does decide, uh, does indeed fail, all equipment and experiments produced for our partnership by contract belong to the Gent Corporation. We will reclaim these assets forcibly if need, if necessary. Alan Gray, CEO. So it went under. So Joey Drew Studios did well and then it shut down. I don't know. Because I imagine I'm supposed to go up there. I don't know why it's not led me up there. Uh, okay, that's why. I don't know why you're taking it so slowly. They're part of the ladder. you got to fix the ladder. Okay. There you go. Sorry, I was confused because there was a light around it and I thought that the, the pieces were already connected. Come on, there you go. You gotta put you back into it. Oh, okay, whoopsie. Please don't be a jump scare. Oh, it's Alice Angel. Uh, geez, you think I'd, I was drowning kittens the way these people are looking at me? I've never seen such disappointment in a person's eyes. But this is the way of things. If management can't pay the bills, then the bank takes the goodies back. Still, it does break me a bit knowing how much I loved them old cartoons this place used to make. Oh well, times change, life moves on. Telly Wester. So I assume Telly Wester was involved he was either an employee or this one or am I up okay there we go <laughs> or he was part of the people who took all the stuff Attention, away Okay. I banished him away. Tore his body in. Okay. Um, oh, this is from Sammy Lawrence. Joey, Jack and I have been wondering if you could meet with us considering the current situation. We have been with you for many years and we feel we've contributed to the success of Bendy in the past. Our interest is purely in keeping this company strong. We just want to help however we can. Let's talk. Sammy Lawrence. Oh, so Sammy Lawrence has been mentioned. Awesome. Among you, there is a stranger, a young lady. Bring her to me. Oh, great. Oh, great. I don't really want to do that. <laughs> Come on, we can get through this. Jump, jump. There you go. Okay, so I don't understand why he changed me into this if he's just going to end up wanting to kill me. <laughs> oh god, I cannot read that. 
The ink drips, darkness is spread through the studio. The reaching shadows creep around you. Something hungers for your corrupted flesh. It is close, so very close. It strains to grab you, choke you from behind. You will feel its breath upon your neck. It is close. So I assume they're talking about the de the, uh, the 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 ink demon. There is nothing in there. Okay, hello? I am here. Jesus! Oh no, it's one of those things again. Oh wait, is he dead? Because you were one of the... I can't remember what you were called. Oh yeah, these guys. The book, the butcher gang. You were a pain to defeat in the first game. <laughs> so, okay, so what I'm getting is the museum, the Joey Drew Studio Museum, um, is like a front for this. And what's happened is, at some point, Joey Drew Studios got bankrupt, everything got shut down, everything closed down. That's what I'm guessing happened, but all the experiments were still stuck there. No. Oh. Okay then. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't figure out what the circle button did. It said it did something, but I couldn't figure out what it was. I just okay. The call. Joey Drew is dead. Oh. Quiet into an extraordinary life. Last I heard, he was staying in some cramped apartment downtown. You practically hear the rats through the telephone when he called me last April. In spite of that, old Joey sounded quite happy when last we spoke. More like the excited, hopeful young man I knew once upon a time. <sighs> well, farewell, my friend. What will become of your creations now? Well, they'd just be stuck here. So he died? Oh! Because I just thought... You know, as years go on, technology advances and the animation industry changes. We saw that with Disney and Pixar. So I just assumed that's what happened as well. So I assumed that the company just went bankrupt and that was it. But Joey Drew died? Okay, so this must be like years later then. Oh no, wait, where am I supposed to be going? I am expecting something to chase me at some point. Oh god, okay, okay. Let's hide quickly because I don't know what's about to find me. L1. Okay, I can run. Awesome. So it's told me that for a very good reason. What's in here? Nothing. This is a bit like me with Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. And wanting to constantly check the, the trash cans. Okay. Oh, we're back here. Looks a lot different now. This is where, um, in the first game, this is where Jacksepticeye's audio lock is. It makes me to see if it's still there. Oh, Boris. So cute. I feel like after you saw me with Bioshock, it's like, okay, cool. You know how I am by that point. Hang on. I want to see something because I think something's going to come out of there. 
Okay, so I can climb up there. Awesome. Because <laughs> I, I think something's about to come out of those doors. Uh, wait, what? No? Go. I don't trust anything. <laughs> oh my god! What do I do? Wait, what do I do? Run and hide. Oh great. Go, go, go. <laughs> I'm, I'm clicking. Click. Go. Clicky. No. I thought you were dead. I don't know if he's still there. God, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Uh, food. Low on health, grab a snack. Survival will mean some dangerous situations. When you are low on health, you will need to eat. Locate some food stashes all throughout the studio. Okay, cool. So, where is food? God, that made me jump so much. <laughs> I knew something was going to happen, but I didn't realise it was going to be the top of that ladder. Oh, hang on. Ah, the bacon soup has come back. I wouldn't drink too much of that if I were you. It helps patch you up. Hey! Okay, aftertaste. It's not so good. Easy now. I'm not gonna hurt you. It looked like you needed some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. I know, it's scary. But you're actually pretty lucky. The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that, that thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper. And he's part of a gang, so be careful. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. Lesson one. Searchers don't have legs, and they tend to swarm. Oh, Look, yeah. It's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving, and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. I have a wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. Oh. Uh, like I said, you'll catch on. Good luck. I hope we meet again. Because there's two Boruses, oh, isn't there? One more thing. Above everything else. Stay away from the ink demon. What's an ink demon? Oh, well, you'll know him when you see him. Yeah. He likes to smile. And A he lot. Kills anything that moves. Yeah, we've definitely seen him in the first game. What's your name? It's you Alice. Call me Alice. I'm not very fond of it. Mm. I'm Audrey. Well, Audrey. Welcome to the studio. <laughs> wow, what an introduction. Trophy earned. Welcome to the studio. Chapter 1. Uh, drawn to Darkness. Hey, so we met Alice Angel. Yay! And yeah, we... So I, I like that there's like recurring characters. Because I didn't know that. Again, like... I, I knew there was going to be like... Um, you know, new characters and stuff like that, but I was like, is this a sequel or a reboot? I don't really know. Um, but yeah, uh, around here it's just best to stay out of sight. Don't ever go running into some place if you don't know what's in there. If you attack a problem head on, you're going to find yourself in trouble. And that's just foolish. You're going to watch, listen, and when the time is right, push forward. Your best pal. Watch the best pal be the ink demon. Am I correct on that one already? Is the is the best pal the ink demon? I just spat all over everything. <laughs> oh wait, where do I go? Because I can go down here. 
Uh, well, I can go over here. and it's, I think it was telling me to go over here. Okay. Oops. We're going bendy. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for in the crates. This wasn't really a surprise for me either, actually. Um... Because I've seen the trailer and Rocket Music song to do with this. That's so cool though. No, the big Boris. The big wolf. Cutie wolf. Wait, what? Push. Wait, what? What am I doing? Where is the toy maker? Let me just search in here first. Okay, cool. Who's this? Yeah, so those Gen Corporation boys are kind of strange. Every time I come back to work, they put in even more of their pointless gadgets. Now, last week, huh, they uh, they built some kind of, I don't know, electrical towers over near Animation Alley. Okay. Week, they added security codes for opening doors. Jeez, what kind of work do they think we do here anyways? Last I checked, we make toys and silly cartoons. <laughs> this ain't Fort Knox, you know what I mean? Now, it's my job to look over these shipping invoices and remember a bunch of random numbers? Yeah, no freaking thank you! I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna record the dog code here so I don't forget it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Code is 451. 451. Four five one, cool. Mr. Drew, Mr. Gray asks, you didn't hear it from me, okay? Cool. Oh poop. <laughs> Sorry, you gotta go all the way around. And then push. There we go. I like how they've kept the audio logs. But I, I also like the Because in the last game, if you clicked on an audio log and started moving away, it didn't stay with you. So the audio would... S and the wording would start to slip away because the recording would just stay where it had originally been. He sees everything. Okay, don't like that. Absorb the life's work of that crooked charlatan Joey Drew. They didn't fully realize what they had acquired. It fate that I just happened to be there on the loading dock that morning mm. when the delivery boys dropped no? one of the crates. It smashed open, and inside there was something truly special. A mass of yellow steel and beautiful rivets. Some kind of machine. No one knew what it was. So the fools put it on display for all to see. But I could tell that this crude device held secrets. Secrets that could be mine. Okay. So yeah, so Joey Drew died then the animation studio went bankrupt, or vice versa. So they tried to... Oh! <laughs> Sorry. So they tried to get rid of things. Um, and they were basically like, what the hell was half of this stuff? And now the experiments and all the characters from the first game are just left here to, to rot, basically. Can I climb down? Yeah, just basically left here to rot. And now here we are. Wait. Oh. Pfft. I thought you were going to soak something in there. I'm kind of forgetting what button does what. Okay. Wait, what did that do? Oh, that 
was where the other creature went though, wasn't it? Also, sorry, forgot to mention as well. I got really concerned because you op I opened that cupboard as well and it just hit turn around and again couldn't help but think of Bioshock Ooh. when a couple of times you turn and you turn around and there'd just be a guy there <laughs> okay there's bacon soup there but I don't know oh no you have to just eat that straight away I can't store it that's kind of annoying there Oh well. What is that? Okay. Ah, select upgrade. Uh, let's do health. Because I struggled with the first bit. <laughs> so it'd be better for me to do that rather than rather than stamina at the moment but we'll see how things go later on wait move oh no let go oh i have the key don't i Portion, keep closed well I guess that rule's not for me <laughs> oh this looks lovely hang on okay that's my run bun I think I'm gonna need that in a minute. Okay, okay. <laughs> Save your game any time in the pause menu. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Studio tool. That a happy work environment needs a place where you can sit back and enjoy something tasty. I'm Joey True, and you're standing in our grand, expensive new employee break room. My company, Family, always deserves the best. By partnering with Briar Label and Tasty Pens, I'm able to provide the most delicious treats at a very cheap cost to our workers. Pull up a chair and chow down, my friends. Cool. <laughs> bacon soup again. Yeah, they always seem to have bacon soup. And it was never anything else. Wait, oh my god, this area is really big. Where do I go? Uh, I feel like that's progress. Little Devil Lounge. Okay, I feel like that down the other way is progress. Please wait to be seated. So let's go down here, because I feel like this might lead to a dead end. Bleh. You've just eaten rotten food, well done. I like how I've gone from Bioshock to this. I'm gonna eat all the food. I like how I've gone from Bioshock to this, and they're very similar in like, the way the timeline is and aesthetic and stuff. Ah. Okay, what did I take? The text is so tiny, I can't see it. Ah, oh, these are the little mis miracle stations. These are from the first game. So this is another Butcher Gang member. I don't know if we have to defeat them again like we did with the last game. Like, I don't know if you have to fight them again. That's another one. Uh, employee lounge animation department. Uh, this looks all like a bag of fun. Joy in work. Trust in Joey. Well, I think everyone did trust him and it all went a bit pear shaped. So, don't know if that's a good idea. What are these? Are these showers? Maybe. This is such a huge department. Uh... 
looks like he's having a bad day. Yeah, I think that's an understatement. Demon follower. I don't know what it says on the table. The what? The dark puddles are calling. Oh, was it locked? The pfft, gent card required. Where's that? Okay, this is where I came in. Locked again? Hmm. This is getting old. <laughs> Even you just started. Break the lock. Wait, how am I gonna do that? Okay, so I found a few other things. Oh, uh, that's a gent part. What is this? That's a tool. Well, maybe that will be it. Hang on. What were these? Okay. So I have tools. Audrey, it's Alice. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hi. Yeah, don't mind me just walking around. Uh, management have come up with a new way to reward us employees. Instead of paying out bonuses or overtime, they've started handing out these little tokens that you can spend in company vending machines. Beside, besides that, these tokens ain't got no value of any kind. Obviously, a lot of people didn't like the, the idea. But the best part about the whole thing is that within a week, someone figured out how to make fake tokens that fools the vending machines. We started calling the fake ones slugs. Now I can't remember the last time I've seen a real token around here. Them slugs are everywhere. Probably costing the studio a ton of money in snacks alone. Hudson Doyle. Okay, so these are the tokens. So, yeah, so they started making some bad decisions and then it all went a bit wrong. Ooh. He tried to re okay, so he tried to open like a second studio. So is this that second studio? Can I not move these? I swear I can just move these. You can just move these and crawl under there. Where's the problem? Wait, what? Talk. Hello? Audrey? Oh, that's where you're right. talking from. Uh. Alice, I think you and I have very different definitions of all right. Where are you? <laughs> Animation department entrance? How does locked up tight? Good. That means you're heading up. Look for anything okay. you can use to break in. Maybe there's a gent pipe nearby. What was that? There's something in here. Audrey, find that gent pipe. Now. Where? Okay, that's all well and good, but where is it? Something's happening, something's happening! Ah, ah. Oh god, hang on. <laughs> I suddenly realised I might need to save. Oh boy, oh no. Hide, hide, hide. Okay. Where the hell is that? Is it this? No? Oh no. There's the gent pipe. Oh. 
Way too dark in there. Need to get the lights working first. Okay. Restore power to the atrium supply. Okay. Oh wait, didn't I see this earlier? Also, yeah, sorry. <laughs> that took way too long to figure out anything. I was literally just like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, I think it's around here somewhere, wasn't it? Because I already passed it. Uh, stealth. The best way to avoid trouble is to not be seen. Remain crouched to stay low and keep your footsteps from being hidden, from being heard. Watch your enemies carefully so you might pass through safely. If something detects you, find a place to hide or get away fast. Okay. Aha, is it in here? Missing a fuse. Let's see if I can find one. This is very much starting to feel like security breach. <laughs> in a sense of, oh, you need to find this. Oh, but now you need to find this. And I know these have always been like fetch quests, the game. But yeah. Okay, so does that mean he switched places? What the hell? Oh my god! What the hell? No, go away! Run away! Why did it do that? That's not fair. He looked right at me. <laughs> Kitchen's closed. Don't cry for me. I want to die. Where is he? Come go go go. Go. Get in. birthday to me. <sighs> I need him to go back to checking food and stuff. Come on. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't know if he's gonna go in here. <gasps> yeah, hi. <laughs> god damn it. Yeah, I'm at a dead end. I don't really know how to do this. Okay, no, just run, just go. You can do this, go. I know, I know, go, go, go. Just run. Oh God, okay, he's still after me. Oh my God, go. Oh God, there's two of them. I didn't even know that. Come on. I can't even remember where the fuse box is to be fair. I actually do not remember. Come on! No! The controls are... S uh, oh, I can't, I can't hide because he's hurting me. Okay. Where is the fuse box? Is it around here? Oh yeah, it's here. Come on, up you get. There you go. Lights are on, 
Time to get that gent pipe. No, why are you still around? Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. You just need to get into here. Okay, cool. And... Oh, we're safe. At the end of every crumbling empire, you gotta hide the treasures. Mr. Cohen brought me in to catalog and secure some of Joey Drew's more special assets in places no one will ever find them. Sure, that sounds completely legal, right? Anyway, I'll be leaving some clues around so we can find them later. Just remember, okay. this nonsense wasn't my idea. So, here's my first little hint. I finally found a use for those silly motivational posters here in the atrium offices. Okay. Be sure to make quite an impact. Oh God, I can't believe I just said that. Okay. So motivational posters. Are they like a weapon or something? Aha. Uh, -huh. uh we're playing with fire. No question about it. First, Jen comes in here and plays thick, heavy places thick, heavy pipes over everyone's head. That's where it's hung. Then Joey opens up the place for tools to the general public. Are we really thinking this through? I mean for Pete's sake, Sammy's music department is constantly flooded. Ah, oh, with the ink I'm guessing. And while I was given a tour last week, we almost lost a whole dang wall when a valve blew out. Stupid tour group applauded, thinking it was part of the show. <laughs> I know Joey is looking to drum up some cash lately, but this is just asking for disaster to strike. One good accident, and there's going to be a landslide of trouble. Hudson Doyle. So Hudson Doyle, I'm guessing, is like one of the common animators here. What's in here, then? Oh, it's you! Okay, so I am back here. Yeah, the dark puddles are calling. I don't really like that it's giving me food, to be honest. Can I take this? Thank you. I'll be taking that. Please don't come alive. At least now I can defend myself. Yeah. Uh, trophy earned, armed and ready. Gen pipe, a weapon of many uses. You're all in one tool for surviving many dangers. The gen pipe has many useful functions and upgrades once you find the right parts and schematics. To use, press, oh my god, what did I say? R2 to attack enemies and break objects. Cool. You're the Texas. Okay, that's not too bad. You're the Texas so tiny. I'm gonna rip you apart! So he explodes when I loot him. Good to know. Okay, at least I can attack now. That's good. Oh god, there were a few of you there. I don't know who's hitting who, and I'm stuck. Yeah, I got stuck. They backed me into a corner and I wouldn't move. Wiggly arm. Where's that door gone? There it is. Cool. Oh, well, this looks like a bag of fun, doesn't it? Oh no, what's happening? That. Who's talking? What the hell was that about? What just happened? <laughs> work hard, work happy. Cool. What just happened? Okay. 
I'm invading on your privacy and I understand that. Hello? You don't have to kill me. Do I not? What the hell is going on? Banish. Trophy earned. Banish the darkness. The powers of the ink are yours to command. Use your powers to send monsters back to the dark puddles. Uh, oh god, what's that say? While crouches... While crouched and undetected, interact with an enemy from behind to banish them. Banishing also uh, restores a portion of your health. Cool. There you go. Okay, that was a lot more traumatic than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I thought that was going to be like, oh, it will be nice and calming, but no, I have other ideas apparently. I'm going to leave this episode here. I think this is a good start. This is really interesting so far. Um, I like what they've done with the narrative. And again, I, I really like the aesthetic and the look of it. And I, I've mentioned Bioshock already because that was the last game I played. That was the last, well, big game I played, I guess. But it reminds me of that, it's the same sort of setting and the same sort of style. But yeah, I'm I'm really happy to find me playing this. I'm very curious as to who that voice was. I like the new, like, banish um, attack as well. I guess attack's the wrong word to use, but I like that mechanism. There are a couple of things I'm a bit ill about, which are the same problems I had with the first game. So the sensitivity, the levels are not quite correct and not what I want them to be, which was, again, the same with Benji and the Ink Machine. I had the same problem with that. And the attack just has a, a tiny, tiny bit of a delay on it, which is a bit annoying. But these are all problems that I had with the first game as well, which... I, I don't know if that's just because it's on console and it'll play different, I don't know. But I'm over enjoying this. I, I am enjoying this. It's interesting to see how they've expanded on the narrative. I, I'm, like, I'm enjoying this so far and this will be a proper playthrough as well. So this isn't going to be the only video, I'll be doing the whole game. So yeah, but this was Bendy and Dark Revival. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye!